price. Though that I know that that day I was in the middle of making calls to round up bodies to part with film shoot the, 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 the next morning. And he asked me to come down. It was for the average George picked up Janet and twirled her, you may recall it. The great ad. So I got on the bus the next morning and came downtown and found my way into this very room that my love affair with Ohio politics was underway. I think a lot about that time. For me, I was brand new. I had a lot more hair. I hadn't been through the campaigns before, experienced the ups and downs of politics and life. But I knew then that the conservative cause was something I wanted to fight for, and it still is. I think about the state of the of Ohio politics back then, too. At that time, Democrats controlled every statewide office. Joanne Davidson was, a, was in the minority in the Ohio House. Bob McKeown was a member of the minority in the United States Congress. The idea that we would one day sweep four statewide, or four or five statewide election cycles, gain super majorities in the Ohio House and Senate, retire two liberal iconic Democratic senators, take back Congress, elect the United States Speaker from Ohio, and begin reshaping the landscape of Ohio and national politics was just a dream then. For many who have been fighting the Democrats for the years before I arrived, like Pat Flanagan, Dave Johnson, Mary Ann Christie, Phil Bowen, Jeff Dean, it was the cause that they were fighting for. It still is for them too. We had a brand new chairman then. His name, Bob Bennett. The run of success he put this party on has been nothing short of remarkable. Let's give Chairman Bennett a well-deserved round of applause.